Hello and welcome to EMP Power Sports Marine in beautiful St. Mary's, Idaho. Uh, this is take two on our vape ignition. I'm um, just going over it, what we ran into. First off, vape, if you're out there, the stock motoplat ignition, the pickups are back here. On the vape ignition, where my, my left hand fingers are, the vape ignition, the pickups are over here. They're 180 degrees off. Uh, also, word to the wise, uh, that probably won't matter because the flywheel does not have a woodruff key like the stock one did. So you can clock it wherever you want it. Uh, but word to the wise, you're going to have to route your wires down through here or drill a hole in your bike if you run into what we did. I tried clocking the stator on the plate, which is a big no-no. It's my first screw-up of 2022. Don't know what I was thinking. Ran the wires down. That offset my timing. I've since corrected that because I knew my timing was off. When I went to start the bike, I uh, wouldn't start by kicking it. I tried bumping it, got it to turn over, and I got a big loud pop. So I knew right off the bat I, something was off on the timing. Uh, now we're timed correctly as the stator is back on the plate like it should be. I do not know if the pickup location is going to matter. I don't think it will because we're firing on TDC. So to set your timing, you can either use a micrometer or a nifty little tool like this we sell on empowersports.com. I'm not sure if they're up yet. I'll get them up. But this measures your timing in millimeters. On a vape ignition, and most of them, you want to be two and a half millimeters before TDC. You can be a half a millimeter off in either direction. Being three or being two, you'll either be uh, retarded on your timing on three or, or advanced on your timing on, on two, but two and a half is spec. We're pretty close. So if I turn the motor over, also with these, if you buy a vape or HPI ignition from us, uh, please mention what bike you have. If, you're, um, if you have any questions, is your stator on the left side or right side of your bike? Does your flywheel turn clockwise or counterclockwise? On this bike, the, obviously the stator's on the right, and if you put the kicker on and kick it over by hand, you'll see the flywheel turns uh, clockwise. There's no marking on this uh, vape flywheel, which I think vape should include, so you make sure you get the right one. But on my stock moto plat, it did have an arrow pointing and went clockwise. So turning the motor over clockwise, we will find TDC, which is right there. And then we will go back to the timing marks. And right there, we're at about 2.75 millimeters before TDC is where my timing's at. Um, very close to specifications. The bike is slightly on the retarded side, which is how I like to set them up. So this will, this should run. I'm going to button it up back together. And uh, if all goes well, we'll see you guys out at Rattlers Run Farms this Sunday uh, as we'll be racing. And uh, if you find this content to be helpful, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, visit us at empowersports.com. Everything you pretty much see on this bike from the uh, vape and HPI ignitions to the tools to work on them, uh, to the chain and sprockets, the progressive shocks, all this stuff, the tires right here. You can buy all this stuff as well as gear on empowersports.com. Use promo code ARMA and caps lock at checkout for discounts store wide. And we'll see you next time here at EMP.